This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 47 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. Alright, uh, let's continue working on the wheels. So, uh, inset this by a polygon just a bit, and then you're going to want to bevel them. Actually, no, let's not, let's not even do that. Let's just extrude them on their local normal. And then go into the left hand view here to see about how thick they are. Because they are pretty thick. Okay. Go back into perspective. Ooh, uh, redo that. Polygon. Select those edges and chamfer them. Give them a pretty large chamfer. Alright, let's see if that works. So select all the edges on the bottom part of the little tire things Oops. okay press loop and then chamfer and give them a little chamfer there okay mm. Next, we're going to want to select that edge and loop and give that a chamfer as well. All right, kind of soften the edge on that one. Okay, and let's actually go to the top view here. Grab these and drag them out a bit. Oops. Make sure you turn our back facing off, and then drag them out a bit, because they need to be a bit more rectangular. Okay. Uh, looks good. So, now we need to... select... here, go to edge ring, select those polygons, inset, or no, inset as a group, and we're just going to do some little symbol bevels here, so, bevel as a group, okay, inset, do a bigger inset this time, okay, Bevel out this time. Inset uh, a little bit. Bevel inward, negative 0.867. Okay, and then it'll just give us some, I don't know, reinforcement on the wheel. Okay, uh, next we're going to have to start detailing the wheel. So, um, create a cylinder, create it, uh, where should we create it? Hmm, create it right here. So, create a cylinder there, drag it out. You're going to want it kind of big, so have the height about 0.74, give it 8 sides, convert to editable poly, polygon, select the edges, ring, and chamfer, okay. Next, select the wheel, run script, placement tool, set select the source, pick distribution 1, pick that and hit place and then start placing so place one in the center okay and uh, uncheck place now so turn place off create a cylinder create a smaller cylinder right here 
okay. Uh, convert to editable poly polygon. Select the edges and chamfer it. Virus and database then, um, has been updated. On your placement tool, hit pick distribution two, and select that. Okay, uncheck use as dist, I guess, distribution. So, or actually, sorry, uncheck this one, check this one, hit place, and then start placing the little ones. Okay, place, 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 and place. And let's also place some of them right in here. Just trying to make it look as crazy as possible. Okay. Um, let's place some big ones. Let's place a big one right. Ooh, actually, no. Uh, place some small ones right here. Actually, no. Right here. Okay. And let's place big ones right in the middle again. these small ones again and we're gonna place them on these so four per wheel okay and one all right and um, unhit the place button select all four of these and uh, effect pivot only center to this wheel object okay then rotate make sure uh, alright select one of those and attach it to the other four Alright, now effect pivot only, align, align it to that. Okay, now rotate uh, 45 degrees seven times. And boom. All of our little things are done. Okay, that's looking nice. Very nice. Alright, uh, next let's start in the back. So using the big ones again just start placing them in the back you don't have to do this but I guess in a few scenes depending on where you render it from you'd see it so just trying to cover all the angles okay and lastly <clears throat> I'll use the skinny ones in the middle. Okay, that's one wheel. Alright, you can close the placement tool now. Um, that'll be it for part 47. I'll see you in part 48.